Icor International is a refrigerant manufacturer located in Indianapolis, Indiana. We've been in business since 1995 and are probably most recognized for our R12 replacement hotshot, R414B. We now produce non-ozone depleting replacements for R22 and R502. Icor's R502 replacement, One Shot C, is capable of replacing a variety of refrigerants that are used in medium and low temperature applications. This presentation will be focused on retrofitting low and medium temp refrigeration equipment to One Shot C. Icor International is committed to the training and education of technicians in the air conditioning and refrigeration industry. Keeping with this commitment, we've developed this presentation as a guide to assist the competent and experienced HVAC-R service technician. It should be understood that the procedures that follow are not related to a specific brand or manufacturer of equipment, but should be considered a guideline for refrigeration equipment in general. Icor International is not responsible for personal injury or equipment damage during or after performing these procedures. Due to the federal mandate to phase out ozone-depleting CFC and HCFC refrigerants, many refrigerants dramatically increased in price, including CFC R502 and the popular HCFC interim replacements for R502, R402A, and R408A. The escalating prices for these products created a need for a non-ozone-depleting replacement and One Shot C has emerged as one of the most practical options. One Shot C is ASHRAE designated R422C and has a safety classification of A1, non-toxic and non-flammable. Its operating characteristics are similar to R502, R404A, R402A, and R408A. Since its introduction, it's become a popular choice for many technicians and equipment owners and is considered a safe, reliable, and easy-to-use refrigerant. It's always recommended to follow industry safety standards when servicing any air conditioning or refrigeration equipment. Failure to follow these standards could result in injury or equipment failure. ICOR recommends following these three requirements when considering retrofitting to One Shot C. 1. The system must be designed for use with R502 or R404A free of leaks and in sound operating condition. One Shot C is also a good candidate for retrofitting R22 in low temp applications. It's common to see an increase in capacity and overall efficiency in this application. When retrofitting an R22 system to One Shot C, a component change is required at the TXV. For more information on this requirement, contact our technical support department. Two. One Shot C is designed for use in systems utilizing direct expansion metering devices such as TXVs, fixed orifice, or cap tube. 3. It's not recommended to use this product in a flooded system. Opportunities to perform a retrofit can vary depending on the circumstances. It's important to remember that if a system is in poor condition or not running at design capacity, it may be impractical to consider a retrofit. Here are some points to consider when determining if a retrofit would be a good choice. 1. Does the equipment have more than 5 years of reliable service left? 2. Has the equipment owner mandated a green policy? 3. Does the equipment fall under the EPA trigger leak rate of 15% on systems with more than a 50 pound charge? 4. Can equipment superheat and subcooling be adjusted to system design? 5. Are the condenser and evaporator coils in good condition? Here are a couple of reasons to consider for replacing equipment. If the equipment is over 20 years old and requires an impractical amount of service. If the equipment is exceeding the trigger leak rate and the leak can't be repaired. Pre-conversion data can help determine if a system is operating at design capacity. If possible, it's recommended to record this information while the equipment is operating with the original refrigerant. 
the experienced technician can quickly determine if the equipment is a good candidate for a retrofit. The pre-conversion data form, like the one shown here, can provide helpful information and can be used as a reference after the conversion. One advantage to retrofitting to OneShot C is that you don't need to perform a costly and time-consuming compressor oil change. OneShot C is compatible with all compressor oils. It's important to know that you'll need to replace the critical elastomer, rubber seals, and gaskets on the components that are common to larger systems. For a more thorough explanation, contact our technical support department. Steps for performing the retrofit. 1. Record pre-conversion data. 2. Recover the original refrigerant charge to EPA recommended levels. Note, if the system is empty, proceed to step 3. 3. Repair all leaks. 4. Replace all elastomers if applicable. 5. Perform system maintenance and repairs. 6. If the original refrigerant was R22, replace TXV or TXV power elements as required. For assistance with TXV information, contact our technical support department. 7. Replace all refrigerant filter dryers. 8. Vacuum the system to 500 microns. 9. Recharge the system with one-shot C to 95% of the R502 weight, 97% if replacing R22, and 110% if replacing R404A. Note, these percentages are starting points. You may need to adjust the charge to achieve optimal superheat and subcool settings. 10. Start the equipment and run for 30 to 45 minutes for the system to stabilize. 11. Check subcooling on systems with a TXV. Check compressor superheat on evaporators with fixed orifice metering. 12. Add or remove refrigerant as needed to achieve design superheat and or subcooling. Be sure to use proper refrigerant removal methods if the system is overcharged. 13. Check low pressure cut-in and cut-out set points. Avoid pumping down into a vacuum on off-cycle. Also check the pressure safety controls and condenser fan cycling control for proper settings. 14. Properly label the equipment with the new refrigerant designation and the amount of refrigerant charge. 15. Record post-conversion data. We hope this information has been helpful and we encourage you to try One Shot C at your first opportunity. Please visit our website at www.icorinternational.com or call 800-497-6805 if you have general questions about our products or would like to know where they can be purchased. Call our technical support department at 866-433 8324 if you have any questions about the retrofit process or equipment. Thank you.